All right, guys, wanted to shoot a video about the new Orby product. Um, I don't know if you've seen my Facebook page, but it is on there. So I'm going to start with the meter that you use to point the dish at the satellite. So you can buy these on eBay. Amazon, I think, sells them. They're like 10 to 15 bucks, real cheap. Um, that helps you, helps you point the dish. And there's also an app also that you can get. I believe if you purchase the... Orby installation self installation kit. I believe it comes with one of these. Um, that's what the box looks like. So, just in case you have any questions about that. And all you'll need for it is just a, a regular power bank, uh, you know, something to power it. Just plugs in the back right there. So, you can power this little thing right here, and it has a little light that comes on right there. It'll be lit up blue, and then you just uh, link it Bluetooth with your phone in the app. And then your coax for the dish, the LMB dish, goes right into there. So I'm gonna go over here and show you. I didn't get a chance to video the installation because I was with the customer. So I'm gonna come over here and show you what it's gonna look like after it's installed. So this is what it's gonna look like. Um, and so you have your actual Orby dish, the dish itself that picks up the satellite channels right here. And then right over here, I'm going to try and not get tags in this video, is your actual LMB. So that's the LMB right there. Um, so then right here we have the over-the-air antenna, which is for local channels with Orbi. So you have your satellite channels that come through the satellite. That's what you pay for. And then you have your free local channels, which is this is what they give you. You can use any over-the-air antenna as long as it is not a powered or amplified antenna it will not work with the orby system so and then right here we got a diplexer what's called a diplexer so let's see on this side right here what this does is you run your satellite coax from your satellite dish right here you run it down it comes in it comes into here for the satellite side it's very important that you don't get them mixed up because it won't work so then uh, the other port, it may say that on it, or it may say uh, antenna on it, and that's what you hook your antenna side into. And then this line, the single port goes to the house. So it takes two lines and it splits them into one line. And then that runs down and into your house. Of course, with if you've seen my other, other videos on my channel about uh, DirecTV, you have your grounding source. It's it's literally the same size pole as DirecTV. Uh, the mount size for the back assembly for the <coughs> uh, for Orbi is the same size as, as uh, uh, DirecTV. It is a two inch mount top. Um, of course you have your elevation right here. And then your skew. And that is by zip code. And then here in, here in North Alabama where I live, it is... Um, it's roughly 35 36 for the skew and elevation is roughly 38 39 it just depends exactly where you're at but like i said it goes by zip code and that azimuth is about 228 generally so it points a little bit different than direct tv but at this particular house it runs straight over to where it runs into the house at which is by the meter so we're gonna walk over here and check this out real quick so it comes up right here for the direct TV. They have some internet and internet and stuff on their house also, so don't be confused by that. But uh, so you have your one line in, and then it comes out of this box. It has it just has a ground block in there. Uh, you can see the uh, that's the ground wire that comes out. I didn't bring my drill over here, but it's just a ground block. That's all it is. It's just a single line. Then it comes out and goes into the house wherever it's hooked up at it's actually on the second level for this house but that's where that's where it hooks in at and yeah that's about it i mean it's pretty simple um it's a lot like direct tv in a way as far as installing it uh, especially for self-install um, i'm gonna put a link in the description for my uh, facebook page if you'd like to check that out i do do <laughs> i do sales also for orby so um if that's something you'd be interested in looking into i also have a post on there about uh but they also have 
Uh, so with Orby, you can either purchase the equipment, either at Best Buy or however you want to purchase the equipment. You can, if you purchase the equipment, you can uh, set up for a self installation, like I said, or you can set up uh, for a technician to come out and install it. Uh, at at this time, they are doing a promotion where uh, you buy the box for a hundred bucks and it's a twenty five dollar install. Uh, generally, a basic install is $125 just for the install, um, or $100 for the install. And then of course the price for the box or however many receivers that you want. A $100, a standard receiver is $100. If you want a, um, a DVR receiver, it's $200 for those. Um, again, you can check it out, you know, your local Best Buy, uh, some other places also sell it. Um, <clears throat> uh, so then the second option that they have is a rental option where you can actually rent the equipment from uh, from Orby. I also have, like I said, I have a post on my uh, uh, Facebook business page about that as well. It goes in a little more depth about it and pricing is different. Uh, so the only thing that you do need to note is that if you purchase the equipment and you have a tech, a tech install it for you, a pole mount, like this is not included in the price for the standard installation because Orby considers a pole mount to be not standard installation um, but the technician can and probably will uh, try and charge you for the pole mount because we do have to buy them and obviously they're not cheap so you'll get a pole it'll be concreted in the ground all that good stuff um, uh, standard insulation would be not a pole mount like I said um, it has a lot to do with the labor and labor cost of putting a pole up and obviously you know bearing a line this uh, particular house it was already here because he had direct TV before so I didn't have to put up a new pole didn't have to run a new line anything like that uh, so he just paid you know the regular standard insulation uh, fee for this so um, and that is directly toward to Orby um, if you get a pole mount it depends where you live. I know here, as a contractor, a pole mount, I do charge per pole mount for the customer. Um, Orby standard uh, for a pole mount is $75 uh, for pole mount and labor for the pole mount. Um, it just really depends on the technician that you get. If he wants to cut you a deal, be a nice guy, whatever. Uh, I generally charge people $40 uh, for a pole mount. Um, you know directly instead of you know $75 is kind of steep depending on what you have to do if it has to be you know if it's a long burial line when of course say if I had to bury from here to there I would just I don't know, I'd probably do about 40 or 50 bucks you know just because I have to bury the line but that's about it um, if you have any questions please feel free to comment I'll try and get the uh, video of the inside um, it's it's super simple. All you gotta do is call and activate, or you can activate online. You should have an account set up already. If you don't, they can set you up account, an account whenever you call and activate. Just note that you will have to uh, have to have to select and pay for the service that you want at that time, either the forty dollar or the fifty dollar, or at HBO or how whatever package you want. You will have to pay after. After you call to activate, you'll have to pay right then.